Hey everybody, uh, last night I uh, reached out to someone who is an absolute professional, their biggest enemies. They're the most feared things that a dog now has. And although I've had Tito for approaching 12 years, they resort back to something that's deep down inside that you might think that your pet never has. And the fact that I love Tito more than any dog I've ever known, it made it, you take the human element out, they will resort back to some uh, instincts that you would think that your sleeps in bed every day, you know, begs at the refrigerator dog would never have. So now that Tito is on his own, and we're, Tito is now skittish far more than I've ever experienced. So as soon as he sees someone, he's going to avoid them. As soon as he sees a vehicle, he is going to avoid the vehicle. So this is what we need to change. First of all, if you're driving down the road and you have a sighting of Tito, what I'd like for you to do is, is remember where he is and which direction he's heading, but I don't want you to stop. And if you do stop, if you'd like to stop, don't change your speed or, or your direction at all, just pass him. Just look at him, pass him, say, that's Tito. Go up the road far enough to where when you do stop, he doesn't notice that there's a change in your behavior and if you'd like to sit to see if Tito does make his way down the road to you and you have a moment to take a photo, awesome. But don't slam on your brakes. Don't flip around and do a U-turn. All you're going to do is spook him. He's going to notice that he's been spotted and he's going to do what he's been doing for the last three weeks whenever someone does see him and he's going to change his direction. So please, just cruise right by him, look and say, there's Tito. i got to call Simon and let him know. From there, you'll call me and you'll say, hey, I just spotted Tito. And I'll say, awesome, where? And then you'll tell me where it was, what, what the field or what road it was. And then from there, you'll describe the, his direction of travel. And also, you'll describe his posture. Was he sitting down? Was he laying down? Was he running? Or was he kind of standing, looking left and right and confused? And from there, do the best you can to determine which direction he's facing. And that generally determines which direction he's going to be moving in. So also, if he's laying down, tell me which way he's facing. All of us generally have maybe a compass on our phone. And just do the best you can to determine which way he was facing. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm shifting my operation from us chasing Tito and treating him like he's a missing child. Or I'm going to treat him like he's a wild animal that we need to, you know, uh, get, if you will. We're going to find him. But guys, I love y'all. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.